Good afternoon, everyone. It's a little dark, I realize, in the shade today. But, uh, time I got things ready, that's the way it is. Okay, today, it's going to be first half of a video. And today we're showing... Okay, how's that? Does that give you a hint? Alright. These are two devices I've been using for splitting wood, chopping, and all that stuff for some time. Okay, so today, first off, this is a plum brand. They call it a permabond. Catch it. And I can see where we might need to bring you in a little closer, and we may not. And we'll see how it goes. Anyway, this is a carpenter's tool, I call it. It's got the framing hammer head on it there. And I'll show it to you closer in a bit. You can see the serrations on it. Okay. One good thing about it. Yes, you've got the raised swell on the grip. Okay. It does uh, very well. Except for the fact that if it gets wet, it rusts badly. Okay. The second cohort here. my CKRT Woods Chogan and I'm just making sure yeah the background and me and all that I'm gonna move the camera in closer and uh, we'll see if we can uh, make an improvement with that and please stay with me now since I've had this the longest I thought I'd mention it first carpenter's tool yes um, no, I have not used the notch here to cut pull nails or any of that kind of stuff. I have done a destruction on some things with it. It's good for that. Um, and we're going to uh, compare the, the cutting edges in a bit. But I will show the difference in the blade shapes. Big difference. Okay? Anyway, table clattering away here. Sorry about that. I should have put something on it to absorb the noise. Anyway, um, by the way, they will both shave arm. Uh, a hair in my arm. Did it last night. Okay, the the uh, the, the tomahawk, and uh, everybody needs a tomahawk, right? Okay, what I've done with it. Um, Initially, I sanded it down, got rid of the finish on it, and uh, gave it a little bit of stain, and then uh, one thin coat of, uh, of uh, linseed, and that was it. Now, that was for the handle. The handle goes on about, mm, I'm going to say, a good eighth of an inch further than it used to. With the blade, well, the blade when I got it was actually blunt. They had not used the belt sander on it to bring it down to a cutting edge. I spent, I'm going to say two hours or so. I used first off a double cut bastard 10 inch file. And I filed it. And I filed it and I filed it some more. Then I went to a, a single cut smooth, um, a smooth blade. And uh, draw filed it. Got it not bad. And I used it like that for... Ah, uh, two years, I guess, now. Well, the last couple of days, I dug out my uh, stone and diamond. Oh, goodness, I left it in the house. Anyway, I worked with the diamond, and what I did was I brought this surface here down. Um, I, I want it convex, but not so much. So, yes, it'll shave my arm, no problem at all. It cut my finger the last time I had it out camping, if you saw my camping at, uh, uh, at the park. So, both are good. Both are, as you can see, the height is real close. Okay, so the handle of the tomahawk sticks up a little bit. They're both, I'm going to say, within a, a few ounces of weight-wise. But, that's where it ends. Uh, of course... Now, I should also admit that I 
bring this up a little bit so you can see my initials and I did it twice okay everybody needs their tomahawk to be personalized I tried it with 550 cord for a grip and it was too thick so this is 325 paracord, pound paracord did it the other night it only took two tries to get it nice and tight for me and I think it's going to be great won't slip and I like it okay so that's the two we're going to be taking them out once the ground dries we've had uh, in the last 10 days 8 days of heavy rain one day of a heavy mist so the ground is soaked we're going to give it a few days now I'm going to be attacking some uh, brush. If nothing else, I will do it right here at home on the property, on, on the, the woodlot that's uh, here with me. There's some dead stuff that needs to come down. We'll do that. So, well, folks, as you can see, a lot of leaves are missing. The trees are blowing. And yes, we have a casualty right here. Busted off. Okay. This is going to be the subject that I'm going to attack today with my two hatchets to test out exactly how they're going to do. Okay, so now I'll get daring. Push my way in here a little bit. Okay. First off, I'll sit down my hawk. And let's just see how we can do. Now, we know they don't cut well straight in, right? They don't definitely do well straight in. And that, he went in a ways. Okay, now I'm using two hands because it's awkward here. Okay. And I must admit, okay, I have limbs in the way that we Okay. As you can see, it broke right off when I hit it this, this, the third time. Okay. Now, we're going in a good way. It's, it's It is sharp, like I said, I've shaped my arms, you know. So, I'll move over here. And there you go. It's all part of it, no matter how much the shape and how sharp. The right angle, that went through beautifully. Okay, I'm going to snap some of these guys out of my way. I'll try into this thicker piece up here. Right about here. Good piece and actually both cuts went deeper, okay? Both cuts actually went deeper. And, yeah. problem at all. And see there, my angle changed. Yeah. Okay, so, I obviously, I changed my angle somewhat. And uh, this guy is definitely hard cutting. Okay, so you get the idea. It'll do the job. Um, and I like it better for splitting. Now, 
Let's see what we can do with the hawk. Okay. That was my fault. Yeah. And that angle was not necessarily the best. <laughs> With all these limbs around in the way. There, get that one out of the way. Okay. I gotta admit, this wood is pretty fair as far as tough goes. Okay, I'm gonna try up here now. If I remember correctly, I'm still in your field of view. Actually, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll go down lower first. There. Looks like almost a third of the way through, almost. Okay. <laughs> that was dynamic. It broke off. I was a little over halfway through. Now, this one I had to actually. Yeah, just the grain the way it is here, you can see, it gave out, okay. I'll try a little bit of... Okay, yes, the angle. why I was being careful. Okay, we can see that both of them actually do well, but the tomahawk does bite deeper. And I'm not surprised. They're both still sharp. Of course, not chopping towards the ground or anything. But anyway, I didn't want to attack a living tree. As you can tell, I'll get down here so I can see you. Okay, so this guy, um, I had him in my tent trailer in the last year, year and a half from the time I bought it, and uh, did splitting in the campgrounds. It's as good as any hatchet as I've, I think I've used. Um, and saying that, you know, you get these dried out hardwood, uh, firewood in the campground. Sometimes it doesn't split too the best, but you'd have to go to an axe, a campground, camper's axe, a campground, you know, that kind of thing. This guy, normally I don't have them both at the same time. I do like the cut of this better. I like the fact that the blade has got that arc on it compared to quite flat here. And uh, yeah, I've I had to do a lot of work on the, the hawk to get rid of that horrible blunt edge. Um, I've got the angle. I think on both of them about how I want it. Now, you may have noticed 
in this thing up here there's a chip out of it and um, the shape is not perfect from here to here is pretty much flat it drops off a bit back here and a bit up the front well I don't believe in taking off a whole bunch of material to make the shape I want in other words with time this will get a bit of a, a, a crown on it or arc on it too not as much as this one though don't don't misunderstand me okay the tomahawk is going to stay that way this one's going to get just a bit of an arc on it like that because it does help it uh, not impacting out at the same time so there you go okay well this is uh, probably one of the few decent weather days we're going to have in the next while the forecast has not been that great. Yesterday we had a high, high of, or sorry, a overnight low of one degree centigrade. And uh, that's not the best, is it? So, I'm looking forward to taking care of these things. Yeah, this one will be getting a, a coat of uh, oil in its case and probably wrapped in a, a plastic garbage, uh, grocery bag to stop it from spreading oil a bit and uh, getting put away. The hawk, I'll keep it out for a while longer. Anyway, I do like, since I put the grip on, uh, that uh, 325 paracord. So, that's about it for out here in the woodlot. Thank you for being with me and joining me. And uh, by all means, <laughs> If it's a nice day like today, get out there quick and enjoy it. Wish you all the best. Keep smiling. Enjoy the beautiful country that uh, we have to enjoy 